I just had a last question. Why did Allah create this world and put us through this test when he had to end it in the world again? Sister asked another important question. That why did Allah create this world and put us into it? Why? If he has to end it. The answer to this question is given in Surah Dhariyat. Chapter number 15, verse number 15. It says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ وَالْإِنسَى إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ That we have created not but the men and the jinn, but to worship you. This life sister is the test for the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, أَلَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاتَ It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. So this life sister is the test for the hereafter. Like you asking a teacher, why are you taking examination? In the examination sister, some people pass, some people fail, correct? So if you follow the guidelines of the teacher, you will pass. If you don't follow, you will fail. So the teacher is testing who is worth passing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in the Quran, asked, who would like to undergo this test? Allah says in the Quran, we human beings were fools to accept it. The mountains shuddered, we will not accept. We, so Allah says, who would like to undergo this test? Of course, you and I don't remember. Correct? You and I don't remember. On the day of judgment, again we'll remember. So Allah says in the Quran, that the mountains shuddered. We don't, we human beings were fools who accepted the challenge. If you pass, if you pass, you become higher than the angels. You know, angels are a creation of Allah who follow everything what Allah says. They have no option. So if they, they have no option, they cannot go against. So what is great? They are following Allah. They are good. So if human beings who have been given the option to go against Allah or follow the commandment of Allah, we have a free will. If we follow the commandment of Allah after being given a free will, then we become higher than the angels. If we don't follow, we go below. So Allah asked us, do you want to undergo the test where all the others are Muslim. The tree is a Muslim, the mountain is a Muslim. That means they are just Muslim. Submitting the will to Allah. We human beings, we have a choice. After being given a free will, if you obey the commandment, you become the highest. If you fail, so we were human beings who said we want to undergo the test. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created a new creation. Human beings who had a free will of their own. And we were the people who opted. And now, sister, we are undergoing the test. And the, and the guide is the Quran. The instruction manual of the human being is the Quran. When you appear for an examination, there is a textbook, correct? The textbook of the examination is the Quran. And the guide of the Quran is the Sahih Hadith. So, sister, we are undergoing a test in this world. Test for the hereafter. And that is the reason we are trying to score high marks. If we give, we pass, we go to Jannah. If we fail, we go to Jannah. That is the reason we say that the minimum thing to come just past marks is to believe in one God. And believe Prophet Muhammad is the God. At least you enter. If you enter the school, at least your chances of passing there. And then you may get whether second class, first class distinction. But at least you have to enter sister. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Yes, I do. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. Do you believe idol worship is wrong? Yes, definitely. MashaAllah, khalas. So if you believe... If you believe that there is one God, and you believe idol worship is wrong, and you believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah, then according to me, you are a Muslim. Sister, would you like to say the Shada? Would you like to say it in Arabic? There are tears of joy, sister. Would you like to enter the fold? According to me, you're already a Muslim. Would you like to proclaim it? Yes. Yes? MashaAllah. Takbir. I hope no one is forcing you, sister. You're doing it out of your own free will. And I'm asking you because you said that we have heard my, you have heard my lectures, so surely you may be having a substantial 
some knowledge of Islam? Yes, I do. Mashallah, sister. I'll just say it in Arabic and you can repeat it, sister. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Have the microphone closed, please. Allah. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasulullah. I bear witness. I bear witness that that there is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that that Prophet Muhammad. That Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Is the messenger and servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. Takbir. 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 Mashallah, sister. May Allah subhanahu wa taala grant you jannat for those. And really, you have taken a bold step. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you more and may he help you because I can make out mashallah that you have already gained a lot of knowledge and your questions were very questions of intelligence and mashallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you more knowledge of the deen may he help you to guide your parents guide your family members and guide your friend sister Jazakallah shukran sister may Allah reward you mashallah